Hi friends, let us start this episode with a question. What is common among post-it notes, scotch tape, dry erase marker, microfiber clothes and lizards? The answer is Van der Waals forces. If you haven't watched, please watch a previous episode about Van der Waals forces to clean your home. By the way, the word microfiber is a portmanteau comprising micro and fiber because it has got microscopic fibers. The fibers are less than one micrometer. That is why these are known as microfiber cloth. Remember, one micrometer is 1000 nanometer. For the sake of lucidity, let us stick with nanometer notation throughout this episode. Typical diameter of microfiber clothes are 300 nanometer comprising polyester and polyamide 50% each. By the way, design of microfiber clothes are inspired by the foot of lizards. Do you know the lizards foot have got extremely fine bristles called setae, each measuring just 200 nanometer. These setae can adhere and attach to any surfaces using weak short-range electrostatic forces called Van der Waals forces. You might have heard this in your school chemistry classes. Van der Waals forces were named after Johannes Dieterich van der Waal, the Nobel Prize winner for physics in 1910 from Netherlands as a brilliant example of nature inspired design also called biomimetics. These microfiber clothes mimic setae of lizards to leverage van der Waals forces to pick up the dirt. Although the fibers are just 300 nanometer in the thickness or the diameter, the surface area is further increased because of the numerous irregular splits on the surface of these fibers. The nanoscale grooves are super small to theoretically trap even the small virus particles as well. Well, you might know that ICMR of India, CDC of US as well as Koch Institute in the Germany and most of the other institutes are recommending the general public to use masks even homemade mask if you cannot maintain the distance of 1.8 meter or 6 feet physical distance. The most popular mask among the medical professionals these days is the so-called N95 respirators. But you know these respirators are quite expensive and these are not available in the market as well. By the way the pore size of these N95 mask is just 300 nanometer. Well most of us don't have N95 mask and we are making homemade masks made up of cotton, right? So how about cotton as a material? Cotton clothes like these are made up of cellulose fiber. These are natural fibers. And if you look under the microscope, the thickness of the minute cellulose fiber is staggering 11,000 to 22,000 nanometer friends. While wearing these clothes masks are better than nothing at all and it protects you from touching your face often. The pore size is way too big to trap the virus particles effectively. By the way, what is the size of 2019 NCOV-2 that is novel coronavirus? It is around 50 to 200 nanometer in diameter. Recall that the N95 mask the pore size is 300 nanometer while the coronavirus is around 200 nanometer. So theoretically the coronavirus can pass through the N95 mask as well, even though these are the best masks available in the market these days. However, in reality, you know the virus are transmitted in the air while sneezing in the fine mist, you know the so-called aerosols. So if you analyze these mist particles in the aerosol while sneezing, you know these particle size is around 300 nanometers. So in practice, N95 mask is pretty good to prevent the community transmission of coronavirus infections. So how about these cotton masks? So masks made up of cotton. Recall that the cotton fibers are 11,000 to 22,000 in diameter. So it might not help much. Also if you look these under the microscope, you know the cellulose fibers are being natural is very smooth. So it is not effective in trapping the viral particles. So now what is the ingenuous method I'm suggesting? How can you use microfiber clothes to fight novel coronavirus? Yes, you guessed it right, using these microfiber clothes for mask making. I conceived this idea while making the video about Van der Waals forces. Probably you might have watched it. If not, please watch that video. Then I thought, wow, it's a wonderful idea. Then I did a quick search to find out if someone else already attempted it. 
Oops, yes, there are so many attempts on that lines. In a 2012 study published in AEM, that is Applied Environmental Microbiology by a team from the US has found that the virus removing efficiency was significantly higher for microfiber towels compared with the terry towels. In a 2013 study published in Journal of Food Protection by a group of Finnish scientists from University of Helsinki compared the efficiency of four cloth materials to remove the viral particles from a range of surfaces including stainless steel, latex, plastic and vegetable cucumber. The study found the microfiber clothes are significantly more effective to remove the viral particles than rest of the clothing materials. The biggest advantage of using microfiber cloth is its pore size. You know, because the fibers are just 300 nanometer, I would not expect much difference in pore size with this N95 masks. In addition, these have got split microfiber with tiny nanoscale grooves to trap the viruses efficiently. So theoretically, the best alternative for the industry standard N95 respirator would be the homemade mask made up of microfiber clothes. I have this cycling mask which will serve as a scaffold or outer shell for any filter inserts. Instead of using these disposable filter inserts, I use clean microfiber clothes, at least three layers. I also put a layer of cotton to give comfort to my skin. In case you don't have cycling mask scaffold, you can follow CDC's method that is Center for Disease Control's method of making a mask with two rubber bands like this. In either methods, I suggest you to have minimum three layers of clean split microfiber clothes and a layer of cotton touching your nose. To reduce fogging your glasses, insert a layer of folded tissue on the top part of the mask, a tip from Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. More importantly, ensure that there are no gaps while wearing the masks. Equally important is how do you wash these microfiber clothes after each use? I suggest machine wash with normal detergent. 
but remember no heat or fabric softener or bleach as this is going to kill Van der Waals forces. Well, what if you don't have any washing machine? Of course you can hand wash too, but I suggest you to use the detergent as little as possible. Only mild detergent. The reason is that these microfiber clothes are really good for cleaning as well as trapping the residues. So you really don't want to see these, you know, the detergent residues trapped inside the grooves of microfiber clothes for you to inhale it. So use mild detergent and rinse thoroughly in clean water at least five times. Then you can sun dry it and welcome another fresh day. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it in relevant groups. Have a nice day.